right, so today we're starting out with Colonial Williamsburg. We're going to go down here and catch a bus and go over to the original Williamsburg. There's George. Hi, George. Hi, George. All right, we will see you at Williamsburg. So we're at Colonial Williamsburg. Front of us is the Capitol in Chloe. That's the Capitol Williamsburg, correct? So it was the original, I guess, the US Capitol. Oh, okay. Would you say this this building back here was George Washington's favorite tavern? So uh, yeah, we'll stop there in a little while. All right, we'll pick this back up in a little bit. Capitol building, there's a graveyard. Very cool. Huh. So we're fixed to start going down the streets of Williamsburg, Colonial Williamsburg. Okay, so yesterday we started at the beginning where we were at a fort, now we've moved into where we built a town. And this is the Colonial Williamsburg. And the exhaust on the cars around here are pretty bad. It's kind of littered all throughout the street. So our Charlton, is it Charlton? So one of the things the girl was telling us about the Capitol House, they actually burned, wasn't it right? Burned the Capitol four times? That's just crazy. They don't burn them anymore like they used to. <laughs> well, actually we tried to. Anyway. One of their main haunting houses huh. and was like a main um, residence for the Stamp Act against coffee and tea. Oh, cool. So anyway, I'm not going to show you everything here because I want you to come here and experience it for yourself, but we're going to show you some highlighted stuff, just like we did in the Jamestown video. So I'll be back in a little while. That was pretty cool. It's how they do the street names on the sidewalk. And then it's pointing east and west, north and south. That's pretty neat. Um, something else I'll tell you is you'll, have, you'll want a good pair of walking shoes for this and I'm wearing a pair of my hiking socks and it's made a difference yesterday and today um, we're gonna do a lot more mileage today than we did yesterday and these sock the socks make a difference I can tell you that all right I'll bring back when I have something else unless you want to Blacksmith's office or building here in Williamsburg. That's pretty neat. During war independence, 
it's what we're making is going to be a lot of cooking kettles, coffee pots, cups and measures, but also items like lanterns, tinder boxes, tin trumpets, and artillery canisters too. These are all items that are based off of a day book that survived, so we do have a written record. Exits between these houses. So we saw the tin smither. I'm sure they have some other kind of name. And then the iron forgers. Pretty, pretty neat. Need to hang their signs a little higher. Bells ring, does that mean there's a hand? Well, let's go see. <laughs> Can we volunteer? What's that covering his eyes? Right. Why do they do that? Right. Or spooked. where we started. And now we're here. I thought you was going to say hi. <laughs> we got these horse and buggies riding, running around all over the place. Then there is the Governor's Palace of Williamsburg. So what's the church? Cool. You just about can't see the courthouse that we started at. It's way far away. There's Chloe. Play. So I'm going to wrap up the video from Colonial Williamsburg and uh, I'll, I'm going to tell you that uh, you need to bring the kids, you need to bring everybody and come see this if you've never been here and it's, it's really 
pretty neat place and takes you back in time. So, we'll stop right here. Chloe's going to get in frame, and what are you going to say, Chloe? Be prepared. All right, be prepared, guys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, share, and like, and we'll see you on the next one.